five exercises to answer the call of duty. Hey there, folks. Today, we're going to tackle a topic that might make some of you a little bit squeamish. But trust me, it's an important one. The art of answering nature's call. Yes, my friends, we're diving headfirst into the world of bowel movements, and more specifically, exercises that can help you poo like a pro. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Isn't this a bit too personal? Well, let's be real. We all have to do it. And sometimes our bodies just need a little nudge in the right direction. So get ready to laugh, cringe, and maybe even learn a thing or two about the magical world of pooping exercises. But before we get started, let's set the tone with a little disclaimer. If you're easily offended by potty humor or frank discussions about bodily functions, this might not be the video for you. However, if you're game for a light-hearted yet informative journey into the depths of our digestive systems, buckle up and let's get this party started. Part 1. Understanding the Art of Pooping Before we dive into the exercises themselves, let's take a moment to appreciate the intricate dance that is the act of pooping. It's a natural process that our bodies go through, but sometimes things can get a little backed up if you catch my drift. There are various reasons why you might be feeling a bit constipated or having trouble getting things moving. It could be due to a lack of fiber in your diet, dehydration, stress, or even certain medications. Whatever the cause, when nature calls, it's important to answer. And that's where these exercises come into play. Part two, the five exercises that will make you instantly poo. All right, folks, it's time for the main event the exercises that will have you doing the potty dance in no time. But remember, these exercises are no substitute for a healthy diet and lifestyle. They're simply tools to help give your digestive system a gentle nudge when it needs it. 1. The Squat and Squeeze This exercise is a classic for a reason. Start by squatting down, with your feet shoulder-width apart and your knees bent. Then engage your core muscles and gently squeeze your abdominal muscles as if you're trying to force out a stubborn poo. Hold this position for a few seconds, then release and repeat. This exercise helps put pressure on your rectum and can stimulate the urge to go. Two, the seated twist. Sitting down for this one, my friends. Start by sitting on the edge of a chair or the toilet. Hey, we're being practical here. Place your hands on your knees and slowly twist your upper body to the right, then to the left, engaging your core muscles as you go. This gentle twisting motion can help massage your intestines and get things moving in the right direction. 3. The Wind Relieving Child's Pose This exercise is a little more yoga inspired, but trust me, it works wonders. Start on your hands and knees, then gently lower your torso towards the floor, keeping your knees wide and your arms stretched out in front of you. Breathe deeply and allow your abdomen to relax into the stretch. This gentle compression can help release any trapped gas or encourage a bowel movement. 4. The Knee to Chest Hug Lie down on your back and bring your knees towards your chest, giving them a gentle hug. You can even rock side to side if it feels comfortable. This exercise helps put pressure on your abdomen and can stimulate the urge to poo. Just be careful not to squeeze too hard. We're going for a gentle nudge here, not an all-out assault. 5. The Pelvic Tilt Last but not least, we have the Pelvic Tilt. Lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Engage your core muscles and gently tilt your pelvis upwards, creating a slight arch in your lower back. Hold for a few seconds, then release. This exercise can help align your digestive system and encourage a smoother bowel movement. Part 3. Tips and Tricks for Successful Pooping Now that you've got the exercises down, let's talk about some additional tips and tricks to make your pooping experience as smooth and comfortable as possible. 1. Stay hydrated. Proper hydration is key for keeping things moving smoothly. Aim to drink plenty of water throughout the day to help soften your stools and make the whole process a little easier. Two, increase your fiber intake. 
Fiber is like the superhero of the digestive world. It adds bulk to your stools and helps keep things moving along. Load up on fiber-rich foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes. Three, listen to your body. Pay attention to the signals your body is sending you. If you feel the urge to go, don't hold it in. Find a restroom as soon as possible. Ignoring the urge can lead to constipation and discomfort. Four, create a comfortable environment. Let's face it, pooping is a private affair and you want to feel as comfortable as possible. Make sure you have a restroom that provides privacy and a peaceful atmosphere. Some soothing music or a good book can help you relax and let nature take its course. Five, don't strain too hard. While these exercises can help encourage a bowel movement, it's important not to strain too hard or force it. Straining can lead to complications like hemorrhoids or anal fissures. If it's not happening naturally, take a break and try again later. Part four, when to seek professional help. While occasional constipation or difficulty pooping is normal, there are times when you should seek professional help from a healthcare provider. One, persistent constipation. If you're experiencing persistent constipation that lasts for more than a few days, or if it's accompanied by other concerning symptoms like abdominal pain or bleeding, it's time to consult a doctor. Two, sudden changes in bowel habits. Any sudden or drastic changes in your bowel habits, such as diarrhea, constipation, or changes in the appearance of your stools, should be evaluated by a professional. Three, unexplained weight loss. Unexplained weight loss, especially when accompanied by changes in bowel habits, can be a sign of an underlying medical condition that requires professional attention. Four, family history of digestive disorders. If you have a family history of digestive disorders like Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, or colorectal cancer, it's important to maintain regular checkups and discuss any concerns with your doctor. Remember, while these exercises can be helpful for occasional constipation or irregularity, they should not be relied upon as a long-term solution or a substitute for proper medical care. Conclusion Well, folks, We've made it through the sometimes awkward but oh-so-important topic of pooping exercises. We've laughed, we've cringed, and hopefully we've learned a thing or two about how to answer nature's call in a comfortable and efficient manner. Remember, pooping is a natural and necessary bodily function, and there's no shame in discussing it or seeking help when needed. So embrace the power of these exercises, stay hydrated, and never underestimate the importance of a good poo. And on that delightful note, I bid you farewell, my friends. May your bowel movements be smooth, your toilet paper plentiful, and your bathroom breaks peaceful. Happy pooping!